An anti-violence group calls for men in the community to join the effort at curbing violence. The peacekeepers who form to work as mediators in high crime spots in the city want people involved in their initiatives. As Evan Anderson reports, the group has already prevented situations that it says could have turned deadly. Well, he was in his back parking lot area um, and, the guy, and the guys were driving. Yeah. Darren McCall, a social worker at this Broad Street Learning Center, was on his way to work one morning when he noticed something wasn't right. I saw that he was trouble. He was having some trouble or sort of stressing over some things. And I just kind of asked him what was going on and he we got to talking. He says one of his students felt threatened by two other young men driving by in their cars. He was kind of hanging out here in the corner and there were some other guys that were passing back and forth and he kind of thought that they may be trying to harm him in some kind of way, maybe shoot him or do some other things. So he expressed to me the intention to go get a gun or some sort of weapon out of his car so then he could retaliate against them. Bud McCall quickly intervened. He went and got one of his co-workers, a member of Peacekeepers, for help. And he came down and talked to him and, and then we went and talked to the other guys and kind of brought them together. And um, I think it was the best, best sort of resolution at the end of the conversation that we had. The guys that he thought were looking at him weren't even looking at him. They were trying to look at some girls or trying to look at somebody else. Pat, so they were looking for somebody else or something. Since 2009, Peacekeepers has been targeting New Orleans neighborhoods designated as crime hotspots, seeking to connect at-risk youth with badly needed services. Uh, I'm happy to say we got 19 chapters now. We're in 19 cities. We have a chapter over in the United Kingdom, over in London, England, in the town of Brixton. Peacekeepers founder Dennis Muhammad says over 3,000 men are now on the streets trying to mediate violent crime. In 2011, the group started what they call a squash the beef hotline, which allows individuals who have a conflict to come to a private meeting and work towards a resolution. It's, it's a human initiative. Every human being wants peace, and we found it is the most greatest uh, a common bond that draws us all together. McCall, a supporter of the group, hopes it helps to prevent more bloodshed in already bloodstained streets. It's, it's crazy how simple some of these misunderstandings are that can escalate to this violence where people are losing their lives. Evan Anderson, Fox 8 News. The anti-violence group also wants to work as a bridge between the police and young people. For more information on the organization, its mission, and how you can get involved, go to our website, fox8live.com.